No one makes a motion to do anything, nothing gets done. Yeah. And I'd like to see the town move forward. So your, your suggestion is maybe that like things are not done formally enough and there's so much casualness that it's just kind of It just sloppy. falls, you know, falls by the wayside. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm not rule and regulation oriented, really, but there are some places where they are necessary, you know? Well, you know, in the planning board itself, we've gone back and forth on exactly how strict to be. And right now, we have two members of the public having a conversation with us on the board. I don't see any problem with it because we're all being civil and we're all just kind of like... Right, it actually is more effective than us sitting up here like we're in some sort of castle and the pawns and minions are, you know, it's like no, it's stupid. You, you, know. you work for us. I mean, you for real? Yeah. You work for us. So. Yeah. yeah. And I, it would be different if there were 30 people in here. It would be more challenging. Like, we'd have to figure out how to moderate. Right. But this size group, it's like a seminar. Doesn't the subdivision or, um, ordinance just spell out what means and not need, what's to happen with the payment and everything? Uh, I guess it probably does. I'd have to look and see. You know, that's a, yet another reason why revising the subdivision regs to a more concise version will make it easy to find that information. And, um, you know, the subdivision regs, to a certain extent, need to rely on state laws, but they also have a lot of flexibility on just how the town approaches it. And, mm -hmm. Um, so maybe that's just something to consider if it's an issue with the payment, which it seems that there isn't. To, to clarify in the regs what yeah. what the payment expectations would be. I believe it, it does mention mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And I mean, but those regs are, well, I mean, I guess they're from 2004 now, but 2006, but they're really basically just from 1979. They were just um, basically um, updated according to... Um, the RSAs. R well, Rianzo did the RSA look up. Yeah, he went through right? and he checked great. to be sure that they were updated and basically changed a little yep. words here and there. So. Yeah. Um. And you're working with those, aren't you? You are. Yeah. Yeah, you're using those. Yeah, right? absolutely. No, I have that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I have the. I have all those different documents. And those were actually finished either. It was only just updating certain things. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. And last time when I came in, I put stuff in your notebook. Mm -hmm. It was up, um, RSAs that had been updated. Yep. So that's basically what, what we did. I'm not trying to take over your meeting. No, I'm you're doing it. Clarify some stuff. No, you're a valuable mentor to have in the room. Well, I don't want you to feel like I'm giving you a hard time. You can give me a hard time. I'll deal with it. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah. Um, so do we want to wait until Russell gets here before we decide what we want to tackle as far as... The capital improvements thing? Capital improvements thing. Thing. Yeah, let's not, thing. let's let's uh, fly in the face of Maureen's suggestion and just not actually make any motions here, but we can um, wait until we have, wait until we have a full board and uh, I think. Well, it, part of, it, it is your job. It is your job to do a capital improvements plan. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. It is your job, so you don't have to make a decision to do it or not. We'll hold your feet to the fire. If you well, we can make a motion to like. Um, to start working on it. Well, no, like next next month, if we have Russell, we can we can work or make a motion to try to include a certain amount when it comes time to putting it on a warrant or something. Or you know, there, there's a lot. Yeah. Do, do you, are you aware of how a cap improvements program works? Uh, maybe not. Okay. What, what, what can you tell us? I'll s simplify it. If you guys are all department heads for different departments, you send them a letter and say. Where would you like to see your department five years down the road? What do you see that you need to purchase within the next one year, two years, five years, whatever? Mm -hmm. You're going to get all of those from all the department heads. Mm -hmm. You're going to review them. You're going to put them in, like, maybe an outline form so it's mm -hmm. understandable. And do the bottom line and approach the select board and say, mm -hmm. this is what we feel you guys are going to need for the next six years or ten years to um, get us 
on the right path. And um, I think Russell is doing a little bit of it with a couple of the departments. Yep. And like I said, I'll bring you more information related mm -hmm. to it if you'd like. Sure. Okay. Any information is valuable. Okay. I've been involved with a few capital improvement plans, and that's exactly how they worked. Thank you. Nice. I, in my mind, it doesn't seem like we, as the planning board, um, collect a budget to disperse to the departments. We're putting together the plan that says we've heard plan. from the department heads. Planning board. We're yes. the planning. We're doing the planning. We've heard from the department heads. This is what they need in year one. This is what they need in year two. So on down the line. This is what the dollar amounts are. Present that to the select board and say, you know, do with it as you wish. But this is what you, we think this you're is going what to we've heard the next five six years. Right. Yeah. That's that's how I see the plan. Okay. Um, and we can do that based on our um, not expired, but our very old master plan. As long as we have a master plan. Yep. Yeah. Unrelated. Are Except it seems like you, you're leaving. Well, hold on, Marine. Hold on, hold on, Marine. Uh, Sabrina's got something. From what I've read, the, um, the master plan is a prerequisite to doing the capital improvement. Correct. Plan. You and have we, so step one, check, even though that also needs to be revisited. Right, it still technically right. counts. Okay. To, yeah. It gets deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. Right. You have to have a master plan in place in order to work on the capital improvement plan. Jake? Right, it still does. Can yes. you do me a favor? I, I'd really love to hear what you're saying, and I can't, I, I, I'm not hard of hearing, but I can't understand you. Oh, I said the town does have a master plan. Is there an issue for them just working on the current one? I, I think we basically suggested that even though the master plan is outdated, it still counts as a master plan that can be used for that. Uh, in most of our opinions, I think it, it, it doesn't mean that we should just leave it to get older and older. Yeah, but exactly. but it, uh, yeah, something like that. I you don't have to wait for a new one before you start. Right, I think that's correct. Right, I would agree. I also believe that um, you can look this one up. I'm not 100% positive. If you don't have an updated master plan, you can't apply for certain grants and things like that related to the state also. Look that one up, because that's Dude, I think the way I think I understood it from like three or four years ago. So. Do you know what the nature is of some of those grants? They like schools or highways or different things like that, historical stuff, like any of those things, or? I don't know any more than what I just told you. Okay. So, so we're considering a um, delegating planning board members to oversee, spearhead each of these big projects. Yeah. Um, Paul, you're an alternate, but that doesn't mean you're not an equally important component of this. Do you have, I mean, it seems like you have more experience with capital improvement stuff. I have a little bit um, than, than capital, more, more than we do. Capital improvement. Um, I mean, I don't know. We should probably still wait for Russell to be here. And, and it also strikes me that wouldn't we want to reach out to the select board to find out if they're already working on it? Well, that would, Russell would know that, I guess. Oh, so. the, Russell's, right. Russell's just talking to a couple of department heads that he feels should be working on it right now to mm -hmm. present it mm -hmm. later on. He's lighting a fire on his Okay, good. <laughs> So could I rescind what I said earlier when you asked me what my interest would be in yeah. these um, projects? Not Class 6 roads, clearly we have way too much to okay. do besides that. So I could be assigned to do whatever I could be most helpful with. So um, Class 6 roads sounds fun to me, but we really clearly does. have yeah. like, more important things we have to do. Um. Wow. I just marvel at companies full of people, all of whom seem to be just doing nothing but 
somehow they're all necessary. <laughs> and like, that's, uh, otherwise they would, their job wouldn't be justified. So I'm still just kind of in denial of that, but um, it seems like the more people we have looking into options for master plan, the more likely that something's going to stick. And um, not that they're, I'm not, absolutely not interested in pitting anybody against anybody else, but like, um, the, uh, yeah, looking at, taking the time to look at our master plan, decide what we like and what we don't, and, um, looking at the way the surveys were conducted and whether it seems futile or not, whether they, uh, in other words, like when I looked at our old master plan, there's a lot of surveys, a lot of results, and um, it seems like a lot of it is a little bit overwrought, like there's more information than is really relevant, in my opinion. Um, in the master plan itself? Yeah. Okay. And, and I don't know. Um, it was presented to the Upper Valley a while, quite a while back, and they had a few suggestions to make to change it, just a few. Why don't you go back and look mm. at those minutes and just do, just work on just what they suggested. Mm. Don't. It would be helpful to read that. Don't stress don't yourself tell. out over it. <laughs> Right, all right. Do you remember how long ago that was that they did that? Before all, before David revised the summaries. So like late 90s, early 2000s? So it was before that. I'm a collector. I may have the information in my file cabinet <laughs> yeah. at home. I will look for it. But it wasn't a whole lot. They had reviewed it and they said, these are the few things that you might want to work on and change. Mm -hmm. And it was maybe three or four things. Yeah. So start there, because if they're pointing it out, those are the most important things, I guess. And then go from go from there. Don't stress yourself out over it. Okay. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can find that and bring it to the next. Yeah. All right. Um, well, maybe I'll pretend like the master plan doesn't exist and focus on the subdivision regs. And anybody else who wants to try to familiarize themselves with the master plan to the point where then they can gain some. Yeah. I'd be happy to at least read it. Yeah, or, or try to. Is, is it, it on our is website? It, it is, absolutely. It's, it's, okay. it's on okay. our website in the forms and the documents. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah. Um, The, the only concept that I feel like I'd stress in my desire on it would be to get it short enough that someone actually stands a chance of reading it mm -hmm. without getting fed up by it. Mm -hmm. um, that's... Well, I think if you tackle one little piece at a time, it's not as overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got a better chance of succeeding that one. But you said you've got a list of things a list of suggestions, or you think you have a list of suggestions? I think I, I, think I have the minutes related to that, yeah. So that would be a good place to mm -hmm. start. Too. Okay. If not, they're in the file cabinet upstairs. Right. But I can see if I can find you a date as to when that was, when we were working on that. And I want to thank you all for finding someone having an interest in moving forward with these things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, as I get a little bit older, I kind of acknowledge that there's a lot of like deliberation that goes into what seem like otherwise <laughs> inconsequential decisions, and that's okay. <laughs> uh, for myself, it's also more um, doable to me now that we have a solid year of civil, constructive mm -hmm. conversations with the public. I don't feel like I'm going to be lambasted for trying to do what a planning board is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. that's part of it too, for me. I don't think you have the block and 
That's great. Good question. Hey. What's up, Jake? Did you take the Publix? Uh, um, the word? Public um, comment? No, it's not public comment. I take public suggestions on the revision of the rules. Sure. What, 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 what would you like to suggest? No, I'm saying as you're opening this for, for the process, you're open to it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we work for the public. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I think as long as it remains like a like a civil and respectful atmosphere, I don't see any reason not to. If, if, if for some reason we end up with an awful lot of people wanting to talk, it may just be become a little bit more formal in how it's directed, but um, whatever, that's not what we're seeing right now, so. Um. Yeah, all right, um, I think this is great. I don't know if we need to work anymore right now, but let's try to read up on the master plan between now and the next meeting and just see what we make of it. And you know, there's things that you can think of that you'd want to change or things that stick to you as being very relevant and still pertinent 35 years later. That's a good place to start. Um, and uh, if there are things that seem so outlandishly irrelevant that yeah, like horse and buggies aren't allowed to drive down certain roads. Yeah, that kind of stuff. It's like, if, if, that's, the, if that's the bulk of this kind of I stuff. I don't think so. so. No, no, I don't think it is either. But, it's, but, but, you know, there might be some things like that. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't entertain the motion. I'll second it. All in favor? 